And many of you who grew up in the early 2000s, when air hogs started getting to the golden age, especially from 2005 up to 2009, we had the air hog storm launchers as one of the best selling multi-purpose remote control vehicles in the world, as they could fly, go on water, and go on land, and as well as other, many other terrain, such as snow and ice. Of course, this is the mini storm launcher, which pretty much uh, compensates some of those abilities for its small size. But did you know, back in 2007, the storm launchers actually had a lesser known competitor that went up against them. Introducing the Flywheels XPV. Remote controlled aircraft. The Flywheels XPV, also known as the Extreme Performance Vehicle, was released in 2006, made by the company Jax Pacific, and fiercely competed against the Spin Master Air Hogs Storm Launchers as a multi-purpose flying vehicle, as it can drive on the ground like a car and could do various stunts on the ground, like 360 donuts and jump off ramps, and with the flick of the throttle, it can take off and fly like an airplane. And this aircraft did not really become a very popular hit among kids for various reasons, as it had lots of failures with motors, hence why mine is lacking one, and battery failures. And unlike the full-size storm launchers, these aren't waterproof, so unfortunately you cannot drive this on water. However, just like the storm launcher, the battery was sold separate from the aircraft, so you also had to buy the battery plus the plane, so the cost was pretty high for these toys, which kind of set it away from most children, along with the performance of this airplane. Here's a picture of the packaging of the XPV. And now here's a picture of the battery packaging. As I've said previously, these weren't as popular as the storm launchers, as these tend to have a higher failure rate, as the batteries would tend to explode, causing fires, burning down people's houses, of course, and motor failures. As you can tell with this one, this one has no motor on the right side, because I had two XPVs, and when one motor failed on one, I swapped them and put them on the other, and then that motor failed. So now both of these just look like gutted messes. The gray version uh, of the XPV, which I also own, is in much worse condition than this one. So I might have a video coming up of, of putting that one out of its misery. But here's a preview. Here's the gray XPV that I also own. And as you can tell, this one is far more damaged than the red one that I've shown you previously. And probably may never fly again. As you can see, it has that same motor issue like the red one. But, as you see, it has much other issues with it. The nose is shredded. The canopy is pretty much gone where the battery goes. And the wings are all busted up. Including this horizontal stabilizer. So, what should we do to this? Hmm. I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> and blow all this shit up. <laughs> Let's add some sparklers and some bottle rockets as well. <laughs> this thing is gonna light up more than a car in the hood. <laughs> of course, I won't do this inside. I'll be just be plain stupid. <laughs> I'll be in the next video next week, so stay tuned. When these did work, though, these were some of the fastest flying remote control toys ever created and that weren't hobby grade. These probably flew as fast as 30 miles per hour at one point and can fly pretty high up to 20 stories, as the box had marketed as. And here's the transmitter. It is a pretty interesting looking transmitter. 
It looks as a, as a futuristic robotic design. It's got your usual two channel spring loaded throttle and left and right design. And it has a pretty interesting power on and off switch. And uh, it uses AAA batteries in the back. And there were other different versions of the XPB that were later released, uh, believe it or not, despite the, uh, the infamous uh, reputation that these things have gotten. There was the XPB 2.0 Shadowhawk, which had a built-in battery that was much more powerful and a much more larger frame. There was also a helicopter version, which had a robot on it, uh, R-A-D, Robotic Aerial Defense, as they were marketed as. And there was also a much larger, larger version uh, with a robot attached to the bottom of the aircraft, which was also marketed as the first flying robots. Which wasn't really true. Airhogs beated, that, beated them with the um, Robocopter. <laughs> Well, there you go, fellas. There's the quick review of the Flywheels XPV by Jack Pacific. <coughs> Pardon me about that burp. But anyway, um, please write down in the comments below about any past memories, if you had one and had a lot of fun with it, or you still have one in your good old toy collection. Please share them down below. Thank you for watching. Flywheels XPV, which sadly was demolished by competition of the Storm Launcher. So stay tuned for the demolition video of the gray one.